Like I said, man, I got boys, man, and I'm single, but I'm technically not single because my son has a girlfriend, so I'm paying for his dates. <laughs> so it's like I'm dating. I'm basically the executive producer of his relationship. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the fuck I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm the executive producer of my son's relationship. I just hate on my kids too, man. They just got it made all, all around, man. Like I was watching my kids eat cereal the other day, eating breakfast while watching Netflix at the same time. Let me tell you something, I grew up in the 80s. That wasn't an option for me, okay? We, we, we couldn't even go in the living room to watch TV while we ate. We had to eat first, then watch TV, because we only had one TV downstairs, okay? And you damn sure wasn't eating in the living room. So we just had to sit there and eat, and we had nothing. You know, you know what the best show on TV was for breakfast? The back of the cereal box, season one. <laughs> The back of the goddamn cereal box was my Netflix. You be eating your cereal, you turn that box over, you be like, okay, all right. All right. <laughs> you read that whole box from top to bottom, just, okay, okay. If it was a maze on there, you did the maze, you was like, okay. And if you was a two bowls of cereal cat like myself, I would do the maze backwards on the second bowl. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna switch it up on this one. Okay. Best show on TV back then, man. I'm a foodie for real too, man. I love food. Food is life. Food is life. Food, food is my vice. People ask me, what's your vice? Because I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't gamble, I don't do prostitutes, I don't do happy ending massages. People are like, what's your vice? Because people don't trust you until you show what the vice is, okay? I'm like, food is my vice. Y'all better respect food, because food is killing people by the millions out here. Poor diets, respect my vice out here. Food is my joint, man. Food is better than sex to me, man. Because I'm single. I don't know when I'm having sex again, but I know for a fact I'm eating again tonight. <laughs> Guaranteed. Guaranteed, raw, unprotected eating, too. I'm gonna probably eat with strangers tonight. That's how risky it is out here, man. Food is better than sex. If y'all don't agree with me, food is better than sex, man. You could talk about food with anybody. Anybody, strangers, kids, whatever. You can't talk about sex with anybody. Like I could run up to a stranger on the street and be like, who got the better pizza, New York or Chicago? Go. And we'll be talking for 15 minutes, arguing it up. I can't run up on you. All right, man, what you, doggy style or missionary? Which one's better? Oh, you slapping me out here? This is crazy. Food brings people together, sex tears people apart, it ruins families, friendships. Fellas, how many times have you heard this from a woman? I don't want to ruin the friendship. <laughs> First of all, ladies, let me tell you something. We don't give a damn about the friendship, all right? <laughs> we'll take that chance. <laughs> Guys, we'll take that chance. If we lose you as a friend, oh, all right, all right, that's too bad. <laughs> we wasn't even friends that long, man. What friendship are you talking about? Food has a holiday, sex doesn't. Thanksgiving, food. You're getting paid day off to eat. You can't take the day off for of sex. You come in the next day, you're getting fired. Hey, where, where was you at Thursday? Oh man, I was having sex, man, it was sex day. You're fired. <laughs> food is better than sex, man. You can swap recipes with your grandmother. You can't swap sex moves with your grandmother? That's disgusting. You can't call your Nana up. Nana, what was that move you used to put on Granddad? <laughs> oh, that was the backwards swivel kick, baby. He climaxed every time we tried it. Call me and let me know it worked for y'all. I'll be in my quilt. That's disgusting. <laughs>